everyone, welcome to Nitin Academy and I'm Nitin. And today in PSLE Math 2022 Paper 2 Question Series, I'll be going through question 15. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so today I'll be going through question 15. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is question 15 and it is testing us on fractions and the grouping method. Okay. So let's, uh, and this question tests us on two parts, part A and part B, okay? So let's read the question first and solve for part A, okay? So, Mutu spent four-seventh of his money to buy six identical pens. Okay, so this is important. So let's highlight this. He spent the rest of his money to buy another four such pens and three identical files. So the rest of his money is actually 3 over 7, right? Okay, so for part A, they are asking us what fraction of Mutu's money was spent to buy 3 files? So uh, what fraction of Mutu's money was spent to buy 3 files? Give your answer in the simplest form, okay? So now that we have read the question and part A, let's try to do it, okay? So, we are going to have for part A first. So, for part A, we actually have 4 seventh of his money, which actually, um, like I said, is 6 pence. So, he spent 4 seventh of his money on 6 pence, okay? And the rest of his money, which is basically 3 seventh of his money, on 4 pence plus 3 files, okay? So, basically, 1 pen. So, we need to find 3 files, right? So, Let's find one pen first, then we can take it into this. So one pen is actually 4, seven, four over 7 divided by 6, which will give us 4 over 7 times 1 over 6. So remember, when we are doing division of fractions, right, we actually need to do KCF, which is basically keep change flip. So we are keeping 4 over 7 we are changing the sign division to multiplication and we are flipping 6 over 1 to 1 over 6, okay? So 4 over 7 times 1 over 6 will give us 2 over 21. So 1 pen is actually 2 over 21. So 3 over 7 of his money is spent on 4 pens and 3 fouls. So actually uh, 2 over 21 times 4. So 4 pens is actually 4 times 2 over 21, which will give us 8 over 21, right? So in order to find 3 files, right, we only need to take 3 over 7 minus 8 over 21, which will actually give us 3 over 7 minus 8 over 21, which will give us 1 over 21 as the answer. So this is actually the fraction of the files, uh, the fraction of the 3 files Mutus are uh, bought, and it is also in the simplest form. So we have uh, done all the requirements for this part A. Now let's read part B, okay? So, for part B, for every five files bought, one additional file was given free. How many files would Mutu get in total if he were to spend all his money to buy files only? Okay, so this is really important. Five files, you get one additional free file. And how many files would Mutu get in total if he were to spend all his money to buy files only? Okay, so for part B, we are actually going to take, uh, we are actually going to take 1 over 21, which is actually 3 files, right? So, if we were to buy files only, right? So, we are going to find 21 over 21. So, let's see how many files that will get us. So, 21 over 21 is actually 21 times 3. So, we are finding the total amount of files he's able to buy. So, 21 times 3 is actually 63 files. So if Mutu spent all his money, right, he'll actually get 63 files. But for every 5 files bought, you get one additional free file. So this is where the grouping method comes in. So 63 divided by 5, okay? So we are actually, in order to find the number of groups, we are going to take 63 divided by 5, which will actually give us 12 remainder 3. So there are actually 12 groups, right? So basically 12 groups, so every group, they are giving us one file. So they're actually giving us 12 files, okay? So they're giving us 12 additional files. So we're going to take 63 plus 12. So 63 plus 12 will actually give us the answer 
75 files. So Mutu would actually get 75 files if he were to spend all his money on files only. So with that, I've come to the end of this question, question 15, and I hope you understood my explanation for this question, testing us on fraction and grouping method. With that, I've come to the end of my video. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!